Kia ora. welcome Laura Watson. Tell us a little bit about who you are and what you do. First and foremost, I am a mum of two little boys, George and Blake. Um, secondly, I am a fourth generation farmer um, on a sheep and beef farm in, in Gisborne. Thirdly, I am the project manager for the Waimata Catchment Restoration Project. And I'm also on the, the Gisborne Wairau Federated Farmers Executive. So lots to do. Lots on. <laughs> yeah. Tell us more about the work you've done with the Catchment Restoration Project. Okay, so the Waimata uh, Catchment Restoration Project is, is a farmer-led project and it's all about um, restoring the, the biodiversity and um, erosion control issues within the Waimata catchment. We, we have high um, erosion problems and sediment issues and, and things like that and, and so uh, we got all our landowners on board and, and it's been a really fun process to be a part of. We are our own incorporated society now and, and we've been able to get funding from the Ministry of Primary Industries, Ministry for the Environment and the Department of Conservation to be able to do our projects. So, yeah, we're really lucky. It's it's um, It's been really fun. So we've been able to uh, fence off the Waimata River in our, on our farm and next year we'll be doing some pretty big uh, wetland restoration projects. Why are you doing this? What motivates you as farmers to do this kind of planting and restoration work? Most of the farms within our catchment are multi-generational. Uh, are quite, a, quite a few of them have been in, in their farming families for you know, 50, 60, 70 years, if not more. So uh, there's new generations coming along. Like us, we've got, we've got our, our little boys and, and they're always part of our trapping and, and um, native planting projects and stuff like that. And we only had five landowners on board when we first started up the catchment project. And now we have all of the sheep and beef farms in the catchment except for one. And we've just had um, two big forestry companies join as well. So it's uh, really exciting. We've got a, such a huge area involved, like well over 50% of the catchment is, is part of the catchment project. So now we feel like we can really achieve some really good environmental outcomes because it's, it's neighbours and, and adjoining landowners, you know, we're, we're all working together and it's, yeah, it's, it's really exciting space to be a part of. There's a real cost here. As farmers, uh, how do you justify this? What's the return on investment? We're, we're justifying it because it's it's something we are passionate about, but it is something that, that is going to be um, necessary and will be regulated in the next few years. So we're just sort of trying to get ahead of the government and um, that is helping us, you know, uh, be more motivated to, to do the projects and, and spend the money to that we need to to get them done. But also it's becoming more and more important for our international markets, knowing that the landowners and the 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 sheep and beef that are coming off these properties, they've they've been well looked after in an environmentally conscious way. As yeah, that's how we can justify it at the moment. Moving forward, um, depending on how much we're gonna have to end up paying for our emissions profile. These sorts of projects will uh, will be able to maintain them, but we will have to do less and less of them because we will be paying so much unless we can obviously offset with um, with more environmental projects. So, yeah, it's it's a it's a changing world at the moment, and but we at the moment we can justify the projects because it's a huge passion of ours, and and we're doing it for our future generations more than our markets at the moment. <laughs> Given the costs involved, what would you like to see happen for farmers? I mean, if you could talk to the government now, what would you say? If I was to speak to the policy people and have any sort of input, I would I would like the emissions profiles and things to be done fairly. It's, it's really good that they've um, gone to a split gas levy, but we really need our landowners to be incentivised or um, to be, you know, recognised for the, for the incredible work that's being done. I'm not the only one. I've got a catchment full of sheep and beef farmers doing it, and we're not the only catchment group doing it. There's thousands of farmers across our country that are undertaking these sorts of environmental projects. So I would like those to be recognised so that um, we can ensure that, that our emissions profiles are, are accurate to 
to our land and to what we're, what we're trying to do with our businesses. 